Luciano, let's take a look at one of your uh, stubby slalom runs. We're watching the regular motion, and then we'll slow it down. Some pretty good getting into the slalom pretty well. I like it. So a couple things though we can work on. First off, line. Let's make sure we understand. You know, the rise line is going to be that imaginary line drawn straight up the hill from a gate. And that's really where we want to we kind of want to be patient and get to before we we generally uh, start a turn. So here you're going to come through, and you can see you're really starting to turn well before rise line so you know what happens then is you kind of run out of room and you're going to have to kind of go a little bit you know ease off the skis get by the gate and now we can kind of pressure down here so we want to be intersecting rise line again that line up the hill with our skis pointing still out and away from the gate so we can bring turn shape back <clears throat> so let's not turn too early we turned a little bit too early there so a lot of your turn was below the gate right. so line is one thing um, although you're skiing pretty good it's something we've been talking about pretty much every every day that you you got this a-frame going on. I really haven't seen you, you know, try to stop it yet. So we really got to focus on that. We've got to make some changes. I know you can do it. You're going to be driving that inside knee into the turn and pressure the outside ski. All right? Because right now you are A-framing. Inside ski is flatter. Inside ski is going to have weight on it. When we're A-framing, we tend to be kind of a crutch under us. All right, so right in there, you got some weight on that inside ski for sure. So let's try to have parallel shins, call it parallel shafts of the shins, driving the inside knee equally as much as the outside. You know, the pole plant doesn't have to be this big raise the hand and a big stab kind of thing and then drop. Just keep the hands out in front and a little tap at the end of the turn. Again, we can see the A-frame, right? It's pretty obvious. We don't need that big arm swing. Another A-framer, right? But generally speaking, pretty good line down here. Bring the turn shape back. I like that. So again, remember to be patient, get out to rise line bef before starting your turn, right? And whenever it's steep and offset, remember, we want to be not turning around the gate, but turning around, oh, I don't know, a piece of snow somewhere up here, all right? So we don't have half of our turn above and half of our turn below, but we're turning above the gate, but we're being patient, getting out to rise line, making our turn allowing it to bring turn shape back to the gate. This is what turn shape back to the gate means. You know, it's flat and, and, and then uh, not as offset. We can kind of run a little straighter at it, but you're doing great. Good job. Let's really focus on that A-framing, and that will help.